Hey guys, it is Last Bro Weekend, and welcome to another three minute review of the newest game for the Hitman series. Now, I'm deciding to do a review of this game because it just came out on the Steam Black Friday sale, and it seems more appropriate than ever to give you guys kind of some an idea of what the game is really about. Hitman is a sandbox stealth slash action game that gives you the controls of our favorite cult hearted assassin, Agent 47. But before I go any further, let's talk about some of the positives. This game has an amazing amount of replayability. After every level you are given new starting locations, new uniforms, and depending on the game mode you choose, even new targets to tackle the level and in a completely different manner and style of execution that you want to bring forth. We haven't really seen this in really any of the other type of Hitman games, so it's really awesome that they added a feature like this. The next positive is that they went back to the game being more of an open style sandbox game rather than moving you from A to B, as we saw with Hitman Absolution. I really enjoyed this aspect of Hitman Blood Money, the game that came out two games ago, and I was so happy to see them revert back to this style of gameplay. This is what I felt made the Hitman series very, very fun. The last positive I have for the game is its dynamite storyline. This is something that the Hitman series never fails to keep up with. They are always so good at creating a compelling story for you to move from one mission to another. Even with its sandbox-like approach, you really feel like there is always a little bit of a new different story with the different games, and the newest Hitman is no exception to that. Now onto the negatives. The first one I probably have is the voice acting. It really creates a lack of immersion with it. And it's not because it's a huge, terrible flaw, but it's a little bit annoying that they really only have about four to five voice actors to fill the void of, you know, the everyday NPCs in each of the levels. You know, and this goes from whether you're in Sapienza, Italy, Marrakesh, Morocco, or Hakodo, Japan, you only hear the same four to five male-female voices that have that bland, vanilla, Midwestern, USA accent. And it just kind of ruins the immersion, like, where is there, why are there no accents in the game? Like, we should be hearing a different flavor of voices with each level. And Hitman has been around long enough that, you know, they can't really just skirt on the budget when it comes to that. The last con I have about the game is its online DRM policy. What I mean by that is, even though it's just a single player game, you always have to have an internet connection in order to play it. Which seems kind of silly in nature. But even if you have a good internet connection, people all across the board have complained about having solid internet connections, but then the Hitman servers go down and they lose all of their progress, which can be a really huge negative when it's all, the only thing the online DR I'm doing is ensuring anti-piracy use. Well guys, that's all I have for my 3 minute review of the Hitman series. I hope you enjoyed what you listened to. If you are watching this for the first time, please hit the subscribe button. If you are a returning viewer, please hit that like button. If you want to see a couple Let's Plays or a couple episodes of me playing the game, please let me know in the comments below. And if there's any games you would in particular like me to review, please let me know in the comments below as well. Well, as always guys, this is Last Bro Heakin, and happy gaming gamers.